Hey everybody, how's it going? Revolutionary Cowboy here, and I'm back for another Pokemon trading card video. That's right, I'm excited I'm gonna do more of these. But this time, instead of doing the $1 packs that I've been buying for $90, I decided to get the standard retail packs. And as you can see, I got the newest set here, Sword and Shield, as I picked up 8 of the booster packs. So yeah, I gotta dig into these here pretty soon. And also, I wanna say that, I got some blister packs. Now, one of them is Sword and Shield, the other one's from a Sun Moon set. Of course, here's the uh, Sword and Shield with the more Pico, or Peko, I don't know how to pronounce it. I hope I said that right the first time, but anyway, got that with a Guard Chomp coin. And the other one is from Sun Moon, Crimson Invasion, with a Shaman coin and a Decide Do I, Do You I, I don't know how to say that name right. I see Decide and Do I, so please forgive me if I pronounce it wrong. You know, I been out of Pokemon for so long that there's some point I don't even know how to say the names right. I know this one I can say Zoroark. There's this last thing right here is a Shine Legends pin collection with three packs and the Zoroark pin and promo card. And I've been wanting to do Shine Legends on camera but I haven't because I just, I don't know, wasn't really doing Pokemon card openings for a while before I decided to start doing them again. But you know what? Why not? Since I had so much fun opening up the $1 packs for Family Dollar, I thought maybe just start doing some retail stuff. Try to get into the more new sets, so I'm gonna open up the Shine Legends box first, then I'll open up the blister packs and then find the Sword and Shield card. So guys, stick around. Hopefully this will be a good one. Alright, so I'm gonna start off the Shine Legends first. Just kinda go with the older sets to the newer sets. So if you came for Sword and Shield, stick around. Um otherwise I'll just probably put like timestamps in the description. Or I'll leave a pinned comment where you can find what you part of the video if you just came for Sword and Shield or if you like all these sets and want to see older sets open for the heck of it then cool you know I'm glad you could be here for the video I might put the box right here for now just for the hell of it anyways gonna pull this open so here is nice Zoark Zoark whatever I'm trying to hope I'm saying right pin hopefully it'll show up on camera come on there we go, that's pretty nice. I've already got like ones of Pikachu, Mewtwo, and Marshall from previous Shine Legend boxes, so it's cool to have another one. I'm gonna put this on a curtain in the living room. That's where the other three are at. Of course, look at this nice holographic Azor Arc. Alright. So now all they have to do is open the packs. Of course, got two Rayquaza packs. And I have not played Shines. I pulled GXs from the set, but never a shiny. And at least. These packs are easier to open the dollar ones. The dollar ones are like a little bit of a pain. Just for having three cards and a fourth little insert card. It's not even a code card. It's kind of annoying. But oh well. Um, I might put... Uh, let's move this box out of the way. I'm just going to put it back here. I'm going to put promos along with the pools back here. Alright. So here's a code card. First dibs for anyone that wants it. Alright. Let me know if you got something cool in that code card. If I remember, it's four from the back. Energy and the uncommons being right here. Hopefully so. Gotta start off a grass energy. Got a Pokemon Breeder. Ultra Ball. For Alligator, awesome. Torkoal. They can focus a little. Come on, focus, focus. Oh, there we go. Pikachu. Oh, there goes my camera blurring again. Come on, stop blurring so much. Of course, my camera wants to blur. Like. Come on. J there we go. Jinx. Shroomish. Minim. We got a reverse of Palkia. And a Reshiram Holographic. So, not bad. Of course, you're gonna always get a hollow in these sets. And because Palkia, I believe, is a reverse rare, we'll put it in the pools. Why not? I, I like to count the reverse rares. I may not pull. I mean, when it comes to reverse hollows, if it's nothing really too special, I probably won't include it. I only do that with the $1 pack. Because the $1 pack, you're not really guaranteed to get a. A rare or a reverse hollow in every pack, so it's different. But with the standard packs, you're already guaranteed to get a rare and a reverse hollow in every pack, unless they're something else is in the reverse hollow spot. But anyways, um, here is the code card. And I'm not gonna do this very much because somebody else does it in his videos. Shout out to Lee and Hart. Guess the energy. I'm gonna say it's a fire energy. Ah, oh, electric. Okay, well. I may not do that in every every pack, but maybe for the heck of it every now and then I will. Got a How, Great Ball, Arbok, Nurtorkle, Ivysaur, Zora, Litten, Quillfish, got a Switch Reverse, oh here we go, nice! 
A Shine and Jirachi. Okay, awesome. Glad I pulled a Shining in one of these three packs. So we can focus on that for a moment. Very nice card. So definitely an awesome pull. I mean, once again, just to, you, to get holographics in each pack. Oh yeah, and there's also a bonus code. I didn't see that, but here's one more code for you guys from the Zoroark box. Okay, last pack. Can I still pull? I mean, I'm going to pull holographic regardless, but hopefully something awesome like a GX or Nurse Shining. But, you know, hey, I'm not going to complain. All right. So here's the last code card for this Shine Legends box. All right, I'm going to say, just for the heck of it, this is a water energy. Oh, it's a grass. Okay, well, that's it. Well, hey, Venusaur, cool. Ultra Ball, a Life Hard, Nerd Torkoal, Nerd Ivysaur. So, some duplicates. Oh, 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 wait, I just, well, we're going to get a GX. I kind of spoiled it, but what GX, though? A Shroomish, Litten, Burst Minum, and a GX. Okay, so, I've actually pulled this one. I wish I would pull it on camera when I used to, when I opened these in the past, but hey, I, I mean, still a cool card nonetheless. Believe it or not, I actually have, like, two of these. One is a duplicate, so I guess if anybody wants a Ente GX, I guess uh, you can... Well, you can't mess me on YouTube. You'll have to mess me on Instagram or Twitter, but shoot, you know, if you want to trade me or buy it from me, just let me know and we'll work out a deal. But that's it for the uh, Shining Legends box. Up next, I'm going to open up the only blister of, of Sun, Moon, Chris Invasion and then get into the Sword and Shield. So yeah, hopefully we pull some more awesome cards. Okay, up next, gonna pull, I'm gonna open up these Crimson Invasion cards, and then I'll open up the Sword and Shield, and then I'll open up the Blast, the Booster Pack. So I'm gonna open up this first. Hopefully, I can get it open, no problem. Of course, get a look at the promo real quick. Very nice. All graphics, at least in promo form, are still pretty nice, but they're not as nice as they used to be when you pull them in the regular packs, but, eh, whatever. And then here we go. Got a code card for you guys. Once again, first come, first serve. All right. Of course, I'm going to pop this coin out real quick. Get this nice shaman coin. Very nice. And now to open the packs. So we'll start this one right here. Please forgive me if I don't know every Pokemon's name. It's just, I'm slowly trying to get back to Pokemon. I, as I've mentioned in one of my videos, I kind of stopped collecting at Generation 5, and it was only after Evolutions and Shadow Legend came out that I started getting into collecting Pokemon cards again. If I can get this pack open, I don't know why I'm having to have this trouble again. <laughs> Alright, I had no problem opening the Shadow Legends packs. Whew. I don't know, maybe it's because it's getting warm outside, I'm getting all sweaty now. I don't know. TMI. I mean, there's worse things to worry about right now with what's going on in the world. Once again, I won't talk about that in the video I mentioned in my last video. And if I still kind of sound sick, that, well, hopefully I don't have the disease that, that's made the world scared. Alright, anyways, code card. And once again, I'm not going to do the guest energy on every, every pack just because it's like, eh, that's somebody else's thing. But it was something fun to do. Anyways, uh, well, water, I guess I don't want the priest packs, but whatever. Alright, so hey, got a Haunter right here, a Sea of Nothingness, a Selgor, Mancino, Corfish, Shellos, Dano, a Lowland Geodude, a Reverse Hall Numel, and then, um, is this a Hollow? I, it's hard to really tell. Yeah, it looks like a Hollow. It's a Go Go. Mm, okay, not bad. I mean, it, I think it might be a, a non hollow but it's hard to really tell. The hollows and these just don't look that shiny. I mean, it looks like it looks like a hollow to me. It's just hard to really tell. So, and we'll put it over here. It's just when I look back at it, it doesn't look like a hollow. So I don't know. We'll see what I pull next. It, it might not be. Maybe the guard just looks real glossy. I'm gonna. I'll just count all rares. They just may not count as as special pulls, but still just. It's really hard to tell. Just it looks like it should be a hollow, but it's not. It might not be. So please forgive me if I mistook some for a hollow, just because the card looks a little shinier than it should be. And I know I pulled a reverse of a new one, but once again, if it's a common or uncommon, I'm not gonna really count as a pull. 
Only if it's a rare or like say it was a hollow that's a reverse hollow. That'll be the only exception. Once again, here's the code. Hope you guys saw it. I try to leave it on the screen as long as I can. Once again, first come, first serve. Okay. Hey, a fair energy. I know they don't make these anymore for what I've been told, so you won't see them in Sword and Shield. I lose some it, lose the mine. Groom pig. Emolga. A little geo dude. Cacnea. Mischievous. Shelmet. Swablu. Reverse of a Jangamo. -o, and a Wigglytuff, which is not a hollow. Once again, like I said, it's this one looks like it's supposed to be a hollow, but it's like because at least it's, I can see yeah, that's a hollow because it's got some shine to it. This does not, obviously, so. I'm just gonna put this in the non rare and the non special rares just because I mean it's a cute card, you know. Wiggly Tough and it's pre evolved for Jelly Puff and Igloo, they're cute, but you know, not anything too special. And I'm gonna get to the last pack here, and then we'll get into the Sword and Shield blister here in a moment after I'm done with this pack here. Once I get it open, which I wasn't struggling so much. <laughs> That's why I'll just cut this in a separate part, so it'll be a little less difficult for you guys to watch if you're somebody who cringes at somebody struggling on open cards. But I hope you're enjoying the video nonetheless. Last code for the Sun Moon Crimson Invasion set. Hopefully you can pull something spectacular in this. We'll see. Alright, Psychic Energy to start off this pack. Peaking Red Card. Gastrodon. Zwellus. Starly, Nummel, Chim Chimeco, Bunnelby, Carablast, Reg ooh, Regirise, Reverse Rare, cool. And then got a Houndoom, which looks like a non hollow. I mean, Houndoom's pretty cool. I've always liked Houndoom, but. Alright, nothing too special with, you know, the Crimson Evasion set. So now I'm gonna get into the Sword Shield Blister Pack, and then I will get into the Sword Shield Booster Packs. Alright, time to get this bad boy opened. You know, as we start off Sword Shield, the first time opening any Sword Shield cards here on this channel. And if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you guys give it a like. And if you want to see more Pokemon card videos, I mean, I hope you think it's a regular thing. Of course, if you are somebody else is on my channel for wrestling cards, I'll still do wrestling. It's nothing like I'm going to give up on that. Just, I'm waiting for that new Rose WrestleMania set to come out. And it was supposed to come out on the 11th, which is this week as I'm recording this, but I didn't see it at Walmart, so I may have to buy it online if I don't see it at Walmart. But yeah, cool look at the Guard Chomp coin. The more Peco or more Pico. I would say more Pico, because it I don't know, it's once again if I'm if I'm butchering the name, I apologize. Of course this is the Pokemon that has two or two, two different forms, like I'm just gonna speak there. If it has like you know, a bad attitude where it's hangry, it kinda gets like more bluish in color. So cool. That's the normal standard version of it. Of course, here is the code card. Alright. Once again, hope to get these packs so up, no problem. Kind of give me some problems, like you have to kind of really find the sweet spot to open them at. I don't want to get the scissors, because that, that just seems just really, I don't know, I don't like using the scissors that much. You have to make sure you don't cut the cards by accident, but may have to after a while. Oh, come on. Sometimes they open better at the top, sometimes they open better at the bottom. I don't know why. It's like that happens. I don't know how shall I get sealed or what. Like that one opened well at the top, but you know, that's gonna happen sometimes. Alright. First code card for Sword Shield in this video. Alright, so let's see if we can pull something spectacular. Of course, another psychic energy, which I like the new Design of the energy, that's pretty cool. We got a Thwacky. <laughs> that's a funny name. Pokey Gear 3.0. An Aurora energy. Oh, that's pretty cool looking. Baltoy. Wooloo. Joltik. Sandit. Or so Salandit. I didn't read it right. <laughs> a Clobopus. A reverse of Galarian Zigagoon. Looks like he's going to a KISS concert. And a Santa Conda for the regular rare. Nothing too spectacular, but yeah, you know, pretty cool. But since now they decided to give Zigzagoon as well from Linoon a final form for the Galarian, you know, region. You know, we're just kind of doing this whole glam metal thing with 
some zigzagoon and it's a ball form, so it's kind of, kind of funny. Of course, not as funny as Galarian Weezen, who looks like a, a, a rich old man, or like Doug Demodome. <laughs> Alright, our code card for you guys. Eventually, after a while, I'll go through these pretty quick. You know, I'll have to read every Pokemon, but yeah, I got Water Energy, Kingler, Rhydon, a Big Charm, Sandalid, Galar. Galarian Ponyta, looking all cute, looking so fluffy. <laughs> Machino, Sobble, Blitbug, a reverse of Sobble, and a Wismacod. Okay, so nothing too special. I always put the regular rares over here. But they're not going to really count as the pulls unless it's a reverse hollow or a holographic. But other than that, decent. Okay, this pack didn't give me too much trouble. Some packs do, some don't. All right. Last code card for the uh, blister packs before I get into the main boosters. Metal Energy, alright. Got a Sea King, Hitmonchan, a Great Ball, Flipbug, Rhyhorn, Nchino, Chinchow, Progunk, Toxic Croak for a verse. Cool, so pull both the cards in the evolution line. And a Turtonator. Turtonator? Um, hope I said it right. No hall graphics. Well, that besides the promo, that blister pack was kind of bust. Oops, sorry, just put the camera a little. But anyways, hopefully the eight boosters here I'll be open up in just a moment. Hopefully they'll give me at least some good decent hollows. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Alright, gonna open up this first pack here. Of course, gotta open up this part first. And please forgive me if I don't know the Pokemon names. I mean, normally I would say that with the pack arts, but for now, I mean, well, I don't know, there was Lapras on one of the pack arts. So that's one I could have mentioned, but oh, well, hope this pack art, since it's, I'm assuming either one of the legendaries or, you know, whatnot. Okay. So, of course, code card for you. If it'll focus. Of course, it doesn't want to focus. Hope you got, there we go. All right. All right, ooh, fire energy, awesome. Sudowoodo, Eldegoss, Energy Search, a Rookity, Krabby, a Grook, a Grokey, a Grookey, I hope I said it right, Mudbray, Hoo Hoo, a Reverse of Yamper, hey, at least start the first pack of the holographic, a Copper Raja, big old elf in here, so, yeah, pretty cool. So that's the first pack, so at least something decent. I mean, much better than what I pulled in the blister. I mean, oh well, you know, not every not every pack could be a winner, but so far, there's some decent pulls. Ante GX might be one of the best ones I've pulled so far, even though it's one I've I've pulled before, just not on camera. But oh well, hey, oh actually the Shine Jirachi, that was a pretty cool pull too. All right, so here is our code card for you guys. You know, let's do one more guess energy. I'm gonna say this is a fighting energy. Woohoo! Does that mean I might get something awesome since I got the guess energy right? I don't know, we'll see. Switch, Ferret Horn, Raboot. Sorry for the weird noise I made there, but I was like, wow, I got the right guess energy right. <laughs> Pharaoh Seed, Krabby, Galarian Zigzagoon, Gossip Flare, Silly Cobra, that's just a funny name. A reverse of Raboot. Well, okay, not bad, I like that. We've got a full art here of Team Yell Grunt. So, very nice. So that, that's a good pull, hey, you know, I'll take it. It's always nice to pull a hollow full art. All right, so far these ones aren't giving me too much trouble. All right. Code card for you. If it'll focus, I mean, it should be. You should be able to see it. If you don't, I apologize. All right, there we go. Cards upside down. Let's do this. Once again, probably not gonna guess the energy. I'll let you guys guess it. And our fire energy, cool. 
So we got a Hitmonlee, Rare Candy, the Lucky Egg, hey, pull one go. <laughs> well, in the games in general, whatever, but like a Diglett, Go Ruffy, Hoot Hoot, Score Bunny, Pikachu, can't remember. You know, that's always cool to pull. Got a reverse of Vitality Bands and a non Hall of Nine Tails. Okay. That's alright. Not Like I said, not gonna always pull something special in every pack, but if I could at least get a good money's worth, you know, of cards here, since I spent about 30 bucks on the, you know, standard booster packs plus. $17 or so on the Shine Legends box and about $13 a piece on the blister. So, you know, I would hope that at least get some good pulls out of this. Alright, code card again. Alright, so, there's our energy, got our Lucky Egg, Mantine, Crushing Hammer, Wooloo, Brookey. Sobble, Rhyhorn, Rosalia, Reverse of a Mawile, and a Mudsdale. Okay, nothing too special in that pack. So, halfway through, first two, two pulls, this, these Sword Shield packs good. Second two, not so much. But, you know, Nine Tails is always pretty cool to pull. I mean, it was the best, like, in the base set or some of the other sets, but oh well. Still still always cool to pull one of, you know, the G Gen 1 Pokemon. Alrighty. Once again, a code card. Hope it's shown up for you guys pretty well. Alright, Fine Energy. A Pal Pad. Cit Citrus Berry. Quilfish. Clubberpus. Cottony. A Chewtle. Hmm. That's one disturbing looking turtle. Just a little, like you have Squirtle and then you have Chewtle. I mean, okay, he, lo he looks pissed off. Rhyhorn, Rookie D, Reverse Lucky Egg, and our Nine Tails. Well, okay, so to pull Nine Tails earlier was okay. To pull again is kind of man, eh, whatever. I mean, it would be nice to pull a holographic, but or at least pull it as a reverse hollow. I mean, that would even just been been okay, I guess. All right, on the, the six pack here. All right, so there's our code for you guys. All righty. Team Yell Grunt, a non, you know, full art. We got a Drizzle, a Drizzile. Drizzile sounds like some of the Snoop Dogg's like well, you know, Snoop would say Drizzile. <laughs> for drip, for sizzle my drizzle. <laughs> a Galarian Stunk Fisk, Wooloo, Joltik, Sand, Salandit, uh, Clawpus, Gasly, Put One Center Lady or Nurse Joy, the reverse, and a Dreadnought, the evolved form of that shoe tool. Okay, now I thought he looked pissed off before, now he looks even more pissed. Okay, well, last two packs. Hopefully, I can pull at least one more holographic. And I know they replaced the GXs with these, that's supposed to be the special rares for, you know, Pokemon nowadays, so that'd be nice if I pull one of those cards in either this or the last pack. So I don't know, we'll, we'll see. Alright, our code card for you guys. Because it worked earlier, let's guess the energy one more time. I'm going to say it's a grass energy. Ah, oh, it's just a metal. Dang it. Alright, well, Hyper Potion, Team Yell Grunt, Hitmonlee, Silly Cobra, Yamper, Brookie, a Q Fant, Ball Toy, Reverse of a Ranga Guru, or Ranguru, I mean, hmm, pretty cool Pokemon. Oh, here we go. All right, hey. So I got the guest energy wrong, but hey, I pulled a V and I was just talking about it. A Victini V. All right, hey, not bad, you know. Not the last pack, but to pull something on the second to last pack, okay. I'll take it. So hopefully the last pack will still give us something decent. If not, hey, I still think this had been pretty much worth it. Pretty cool cards. Alrighty, guys. Last code card for the video. 
if you're into that. I know I know there's gotta be some people who do like, you know, doing the online codes. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do them because if I if I do the code, you know, before you guys have a chance to, then it'll ruin it for you. So I I care more for the physical cards than the online ones. All right, so there's metal energy. Okay, so hey, the metal energy last time gave us something good, so hopefully we get something good from this pack. We've got ordinary rod, a bead, a boot, Wulu, Joltik, Sandalit, Clovapus, a Gasly, Reverse of a Snom. So can I pull something, a holographic of some kind? I don't see a silver board, so it's gonna be a standard card, uh, not a V. So for the last card, we're gonna get a Pulsa, guys. Okay, we end with a teapot. Well, okay, they could all be winners. But, um, yeah, I guess I'll go through the polls real quick. Pretty decent amount of cards here. Of course, you know, got the Decidui for, you know, one of the promos. A Go-Go, which one, you know, was hard to tell through the holographic, but I guess it is. Of course, Ante GX from the Shine Legends, and nice Shine Jirachi for Shine Legends. One of the only, you know, reverse rares that was kind of worth putting back here, the Palkia. Retroram. Zoroark promo from the Shine Legends booster box. Say that one for last course, but you guys already know what it is. Team Yell Grunt for Art. A Copper Raja. And then the more Peko, or more Pico, whatever. <laughs> more Pico, if you like Pico on your uh, burritos. <laughs> yeah, I know, that was a lame joke. But anyways, got that promo. The Red Ice, the other reverse rare that was worth showing, but finally the Victini V. So, I guess a decent amount of cards, some decent pulls, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, and as I shake my tripod again, I gotta get a better setup, but anyways guys, hope you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more pulling card videos coming in the near future, hit that bell so you'll be notified, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, where I'll post updates for whenever I do more videos, but anyways guys, I want to thank y'all for watching, rock on, and keep collecting.